No Fish Nick here. It's April 19th. I'm in Bailey's Harbor, Wisconsin. And this weekend, we are fishing for brown trout. Uh, we, we are in a tournament, so we're gonna be giving our hell. I'm with my good buddy, Guy. He's over there paying for the launch. And it's Thursday. We're gonna, we're gonna fish Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and maybe even Sunday morning. So, like, do the best we can. Okay, all set up. I have uh, two crankbaits on, and uh, I got a dipsy out with a spoon. Guy side of the boat, he's got a downrigger rigged and two crankbaits. I think it, all crankbaits, huh? Crankbaits. Yeah, so that's what we got going. Fishing the shoreline. Water temperature is kind of cold here, looking for warm water. Okay, not much going on. Got a couple kayakers trolling. That's pretty cool. Maybe I should have brought my kayak. We're getting skunked right now, so it'll be pretty easy to beat us. All you need is one fish. But it's early yet. We're going to get them. April 20th, yesterday we did not catch any browns, but we're going to try like, like hell today. First uh, issue is dealing with ice, got a little skim ice. While we're waiting for the ice to melt, just uh, I set up a, a flat wrap, but it's pretty clear water, which is not good. But I'm just doing some casting. You can see the nice boulders and stuff here, but this clear water is not good. But you never know. We are fishing but somebody forgot a spinning rod that was sitting right in the garage <laughs> anyway uh, this ice should melt off here shortly <laughs> we're hoping all right fish on the dipsy I don't know if the dipsy tripped I don't want to horse it this is that uh, that spoon Guy called the spoon. He caught one on this last year, so we tried it. Nice and straight. All right. Okay. Got the... Of course, Browns. They put up a fight right at the boat, so I'll loosen my drag up. Hey, nice one too. This is the first bite we had, so that's a lot of information. Colors, depths. We're gonna get a lot of different information here. Oh, he's putting up a battle right at the right at the boat, typical brown. You got more net if you want to. Uh, typical brown putting up a fight right at the boat. Hold on, we just gotta wear them out a little more. Where'd he go? There he is. 
All right, good job. <laughs> Blur. Nice. Nice brownie. Oh, he's puking up stuff too. All right. Throw him on there. Uh, 24 and a half. His hook pretty good. All right. All right. Guy's got one on, and this one's bigger than the last, we think. It's fighting pretty hard. Cool. All right. It was in your hands, wasn't it? Or yeah, yeah. It hit while it was in your hand. That's awesome. Okay. Let's hope. Right, keep an eye on the boat. I gotta keep turning, buddy. Sorry, I gotta do it, but I gotta do it. Otherwise, we're gonna be up in the two feet of water. Tournament winner. Looks like the same size as my last one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's real similar, they're brothers. Okay. Oh, there we go. In the net. Twins and they're blue. Look at that. Bit. Ooh, let's see, where's my players? Right here. Okay, I just missed one. We reset it and got another hit. We're out in a little deeper water too, so which is really cool. I'd much rather catch them in deeper water. It's a lot easier to deal with the boat. I'm gonna bring him to you if he'll stay nice. All right, cool, awesome. <laughs> That's a nicer one. That one's over 10 pounds. Sweet. Okay, get the net clear. Okay, net's clear. <laughs> Sweetness right there. That's a nice one. Whoo! That's a guy. Guy picked that spoon, so I owe him a beer for that one. Cool. Good one on the planer board. He was jumping already. All right. Crankbait. Oh yeah, this is that. Uh, my buddy Jason uh, hand hand painted uh, Storm. He gave this yeah Thunderstick. He gave me this last year. If you watched my video last year, a brown trout in, in the spring. My buddy uh, Jason uh, Yeezy gave me this thing. It was working last year, and, and so far it works today because I got one coming in. He's fighting. I gotta turn the boat around, keep us in safe water. And guy, I'm gonna need you to uh, reel in some line on this dipsy, please. Like bring it up to 10 feet. Okay. 
All right. Good job. Nice one. Sweet. Yeah, he went and grabbed the other line. Cool. All right. All right. Got one on the dipsy. Oh no! You break the line? This last one on a dipsy. Okay, we're gonna call our day. We went four for six. And got some nice ones in there. Um, nice eaters. I'm not sure we're gonna, we'll probably weigh that one just to see. But uh, I'm not sure if he'd even be over 10 pounds. But uh, we had some good eats anyway. Fish Nick here. It's Saturday, April 21st, and so far, um, yesterday was a really good day for us anyway. Um, we had six bites, we caught four of them. Um, nice fish, a big one. Uh, we waited at, at the weigh station, um, and it was nine pounds, 9.4, I believe. Uh, so, feeling pretty good. Uh, that's not big enough, but we we're just happy that we got a pattern. We're going to go try it again. It's pretty around here. Just trolling along the shoreline. Cape Point. Yeah, this is Cape. right at the end of Cape Point. Really scenic. And then we got the icebergs we're dealing with. Okay, we're right on our marks from where uh, we were getting them yesterday. A little earlier than we were yesterday, but uh, just trying to see what we can do. Water temp is 37, so come on, fishies. I just shut the camera off and fish on. I almost got, I almost had that sucker right on camera. I'm talking 10 seconds after I shut the camera off. The board off, then I got like a quarter ounce sinker. That we're gonna have to take off. Uh, the tinker's coming, and then it was like another. It was 50 feet sinker, and then another 50 feet. Doesn't feel like a very big fish. Sinker. You need your players here. Okay. Jesus, face. Hopefully stays out of the dipsy. He's on that bright, bright one. He didn't fight very hard, so he might have a lot left in him. Nope. Not anymore. Not anymore. He's in the boat. Nice long one. Came on the bright uh, Thunderstick Junior. He's off. Cool. <laughs> Same spot almost, buddy. <laughs> there we go. We were right on the, I didn't have to mark it because we were right in that same spot. Cool. Okay, we've got an iceberg we're trying to get by. I'm going to put it right between the dipsy diver and the first planter board. Should work. Still sitting on one fish moving out of our area because we got kicked out by the ice.
Maybe we'll get on someone else's video today. As the boats are lining up. Heading out. It's April 22nd. It's uh, morning, uh, Sunday morning. We're, uh, we're back out here just for a couple hours. Um, the tournament ends at noon, so we got to try to get us a big one here. Uh, we're going to just try it right here, right in front of the right in front of the uh, Bailey's Harbor Marina. That's where the big one was caught a couple years ago. So we're going to give her hell. Baby flat wrap in a bright color. Bright colors work for us. The naturals have not been bit, so we've been using all bright stuff. And at trolling speed, that's what that looks like. Uh, this is a custom colored uh, Thunderstick Junior. My buddy uh, Jason painted. Now this one is a proven, this one is a fish catcher here. Just got it on a clip with 12 pound test XT, Trilene XT. That's how that looks in the water. Uh, and this is another nice thing about the Dipsy. We just work right above it. That thing stays down and you can work right above it. Send your lines over it, no problem. Look how clear the water is. It's uh, 14 feet deep. See our shadow cruising along. See the rocks. We went over a shipwreck already. An old uh, shipwreck right in the harbor. You can see the old mast and uh, boat planks. It's pretty neat. Yeah, this is insanely clear water. You think we're going to be running up on the rocks? Look how deep it is. 14 feet deep. It's pretty cool, but like it makes fishing tough, that's for sure. Okay, <clears throat> we went into this little bay. We did find warm water. Um, and we, we trolled through it pretty thoroughly in uh, no bites, so that might be it for this adventure. A couple things that did work for us this weekend, and that was the dipsies. You know, running uh, two dipsy divers in our spread definitely worked. And then uh, fishing uh, through the major. The major was like one o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, that's when most of our bites were coming uh, afternoon. Between uh, noon and three o'clock, and that's uh, when I looked at the majors for uh, for the day on on Friday when we had our best luck. That's uh, that's when our bites came. So uh, we had to be on on a good spot too, because uh, there's a lot of good fishermen out here that might not have taken uh, too many bites, but you got to be where the fish are at, and that takes time on the water. So. Trying to figure it out. All right, that's it for us. NFN out. Okay, we got to give a shout out to the crew at Bailey's 57. They did an outstanding job with the weigh-ins and uh, everything, catering to all the fishermen. So good job, Bailey's 57 crew.